Welcome back to the Balance Light of Teletainments, the Good Morning Niger Show on top of this holiday season period where we did. And uh, well, even though the holiday season, we know if we forget, say very, very soon, our uh, election and electioneering process is going to begin in 2019. Now, we've got a very casual guest in the house who will follow us discuss one very important topic. Um, over the period, this particular period, that they call it the season theme of politics, we don't see uh, the role of different religious leaders in politics. Some of our religious leaders, they go some pastors, they go some imams, they go, they receive prayers, uh, they go, they receive blessings, and then some of these religious leaders too, they give some prophecies here and there. Some will go say, uh, I they see the future, God don't show me, say the person will go win so-so states. His name start from M. Eventually, the person will win, his name will start from W. Say that God, now he can't show on that particular prophecy or not. And also, some people don't, they raise their eyebrows or you go to talk. Say, should we actually have religious leaders Today, participate in partisan politics. Well, now we get a very casual guest in the house in the clergyman. Now, somebody where I don't hear a lot about before, and it gives me great pleasure to actually be the one to interview him on top of this couch. I want to go join us to welcome Dr. Emmanuel Olumide on top of our couch. Compliments of the season to you, sir. Same to you. Yes, Thank you very uh, much. Huge pleasure that I get to get you on top of our seat here. Several times, we don't wish we could get you here, but finally, you are here. Uh, me too. I appreciate I don't come now. <laughs> so anytime where we get a chance, we would like to they come. All right, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Now, straight to the, uh, the meat of the business today. Mm. Now, we know, say, coming in two months' time, uh, we're going to enter politics. Uh, the real political event, where we say uh, the general election, the presidential elections, the gubernatorial elections, and for the, uh, the houses as well, of reps and uh, central houses. And now, a lot of, we know if we remove religion from inside our country, Nigeria, for anything we they do, whether mm. in our politics, or whether in our sports, or whether in our finance, whether in our economy, whether in our business, there's hardly anything we want to do for this country we know will start with prayer. Even the budget where our president may finally read to the house before he starts, he say, mm -hmm. uh, I will be lying in a shaitan in a gym, bismillah, Ramani, Ramani. So he starts with prayer. But then people don't come out, they ask, say, what exactly is the role or should be the role of religious leaders in politics? Now, make a start from here. You feel, say, religious leaders supposed to be involved, actively involved in partisan politics? Uh, you see, the question where you ask, it based on the premise, say, with the separate religious leaders mm. and religious people from other people. Religion, now part of your life, just like every day you go breathe, you breathe in, you breathe out, every day you go eat. So your religious belief, now part of your life, it's part of your daily life. Say, person be religious leader, you know mean say, you don't go go buy fuel. Person be religious leader, you know mean say, you don't go pay school fees for your children. Person be religious leader, you know mean say, you don't go pass the same road where you they pass. So when would they try to say religious leader, or waiting, would they try to separate since when we don't need to separate because religious leaders are normal human beings, yes. like every other human being, into the same country, into go face with you in the face. So, uh, shall we call the talk, say, make person know they involve for waiting concern in life? Mm -hmm. So, you mean now, say, because I'm a religious leader, I don't go decide which kind of school my picking go go, I don't go decide which kind of water I go drink, I don't go decide if I speak to go day where I go take treat myself, I don't go decide waiting concern me. So that question, now question what we're not supposed to make to become issue. By making it an issue, we are creating an issue where there is no issue. Because religious leader are normal human being. So he's supposed to be involved in everything we concern in life. That's yes, Naomi, my right, answer. That's beautiful. Now. now, very quickly, I would like, as now we know, say, in the past, we don't see, um, we may get the likes of uh, Pastor Chris Okoti, uh, we've been run for presidential elections like twice, I believe. Um, you feel, say, we need to have more of these people to come out and run uh, for active positions inside our political scene. Uh, so that, because we know, say, a lot of people get strong belief in their religious leaders. Believe in, say, then go free, bring some kind of sanity uh, to our political scene as it be. So you believe, say, it go de it go de good, maybe I don't use the word necessary, but go de good make some of these religious leaders, whether Christian or Muslim or whichever, so they actively participating uh, in these particular positions, whether as a governor, as a senator, or even as the president of the country. That's another problematic question. Why the problematic question? Say you be religious leader, no means say you go feel lead well. That's not part of the problem. You feel be pastor where you good for your pastoral work. Mm. It no means say you good for everything. True. For instance, now everybody supposed to marry if they want marry. Yes. But if you marry, to succeed for marriage, it no means say whether you be spiritual leader or you no be spiritual leader. Now waiting you will do. Now you go the time whether you go succeed. So if person believes say, in get waiting it take to take do something, 
Whether I be religious leader or not, make it go do one. But make sure, say, you get what it takes to do one. Don't be saying because you be a religious leader. Because person be a religious leader, you know you call to success, or you know you call to good leadership. So even if you can, you feel be a religious leader, I would say you feel manage church. But when it comes to business, you go fail. Me now, I be pastor. I be businessman. I don't do ministry like 30 years. I don't do business like 20 something years. But some pastors, they will be saying, they don't feel do business at all. Now only church, they feel do. When they reach business, they go fail. Some people, they will say, now only business, they feel do. But when they reach to go do ministry or volunteer or charity, work, they don't go feel do one. Because the laws and the principles will guide all this one. It's different. For business now, you work, I pay you. You don't do where I fire you. You don't feel fire person for church. church. You know, so you don't feel fire person for NGO. You don't feel fire person for volunteer work. So the people get something where you go feel do. It gets something you don't go feel do. So to me, Anybody will say you won't go politics. No go politics because you think you be a religious leader. Because Nigeria, no be religion. Yes. Politics, no be religion. Now, out of governor. So if you know feel govern, it's like say because you're a religious leader now, you won't go be doctor for hospital. You get the training. Mm -hmm. I'm a religious leader, I won't be lecturer for university. You get the training. Now the same thing. Whether you're a religious leader or not, it doesn't mean you will go to hospital and become a successful doctor if you don't have the training and the competence. It no means say you go go law, you go become lawyer when you don't get the training. It no means say you go become in the same vein. It no means say you go become good governor or good senator for you to be able to succeed. So I don't believe in that. Do it only if you have the competence and the capacity and the passion to do it, not because you are a religious leader. Very interesting. All right. Now, just a few days ago, inside the papers, one of our papers, uh, we've been here say, you know, um, our, the, our leaders for the country don't come and they kick against uh, prophecies. Nobody say prophecies basically, but say about religious leaders talking about, uh, you know, issuing prophecies to politicians. Say, oh, you go see one politician go go in, in church or go in mosque, and then the leader there go say, oh, I've been see God been prophesied to me. Say, the person will go win this election. Say, his name go start from W. Or oh, God don't tell me already. Say, as you come here, so this seed where you sow. Say, in fact, if you know win this election, problem go day. Or I don't still already say this election. Now, so so person go win, but they get waiting go happen. Now, we know, say, at some point, yes, God, they show people things where they happen. God, they give prophecy. And not necessarily even religious leaders. God even gives layman prophecies. But we say they rise because we know, say, politics on the own are very volatile period. Vol political season are very volatile pe uh, season. Where we say, if you say one wrong thing, for inside your small room, make one person just use here, hear him, carry and go outside. If he cause heavy begay for outside. Mm. So you feel, say, if they all right, make religious leaders, uh, when they receive this prophecy, whether they broadcast them, they publicize them, make everybody they hear. Now, you see, uh, for this one, we'll direct, I mean, we can't break down that religious leader matter. Mm. When you say person be a religious leader, you need to know, say, there are good religious leaders, there are bad religious leaders. The same way we get good doctor, bad doctor, good lawyer, bad lawyer. We get good pastor, bad pastor. We get good prophet, we get bad prophet. You see all those people when they enter prophecy of, say, person go win, person no go win. Bible call them food for the belly, belly for the food. Now, people will be saying they're not serious with their assignment. What it consign you with carrying prophecy to go to a person person go win, I ain't no go win. When Chibo girls miss, why your prophecy don't tell us where the Chibo <laughs> girls did. People get cancer, they don't get cure. Why your prophecy don't tell us the cure for cancer or the cure for HIV? Most of these people, when they say that they prophesy for political prophecy, they are nothing but business people. They are false prophets and prophet liars. Because what they are just doing is what we call permutation and combination. That's psychology that they use. If I prophesy this one, if he enter, maybe money will come. <laughs> now, on God, they push people like that. But you know me, say, genuine prophet, no day. Do you understand? Genuine prophet, day. But many of these people now are fake. That's why when they talk, you know they happen. When they know happen, they go look for another story to talk again. So when God call you for ministry and he give you grace to be able to prophesy, or he tell you what to give, give her only when he tell you to give her. Give her only where he tell you to give her. Give her only to people where he tell you to give her. Some prophecy, some information, now for private consumption. Not for public declaration. God, if he tell me now, say that this thing will happen. Just make I know, because I've been picking, we'll be friends. Say, my friend, this thing will happen. No, just let you so that you know go day on our way. You know go catch you by surprise. You know me, say, I go come go out. They go talk, say, this go happen, that go happen. Because even God himself, they change his mind. Yes, yeah, true. So if God tells you something, I change his mind, and you don't go broadcast, what's going to happen? God tell Abraham, he said, I want me to carry your pekin. Make you go sacrifice him. Abraham, wake up, carry the pekin. Booga, booga. They go As he wants sacrifice, God say, hey, now nah, I know, say, you like me. No killer again. If to say Abraham, hear the first one, you know, hear the second one, you go, don't kill the pekin. Since saying they do God work. 
Now, so many people, revelation is they progressive. God will tell you one thing today. Work with that one. Stay the boundary way it gives you. Because that same thing will tell you now, if you change tomorrow, say, okay, as you go, now don't do that one again. If you read the Bible, you get one man. In the Nile. God tell and say, you're picking your family now with the rule forever. After a while, when you don't do well, you don't take care of your children, God say, come, I don't change my mind. Be it far from me. I tell you before, say, now go rule. Now, now don't go rule again. So God can change his mind. But if you now, you jump, and God don't they bring new revelation, and you know, they the same frequency, now some people, they misbehave. So sometimes, nobody say, God, no, they tell them, waiting and they talk. But you know, tell them to broadcast and the way that they broadcast and you know, tell them they use and the way that they use them. If you get one person one time, make I just give you a case study. Mm -hmm. God tell the man, say, this president, if he not do the thing he's supposed to do, he go die. When the man declared the thing, the president, a whole president, live in throne, come meet the man for in church. He say, ah, this is where you talk. What what I supposed to do? You know what the man do? He now allow flesh to enter. He said, no, God has told me you are going to die. You are going to die. There's nothing you can do about it. That's a lie. When God talk, not to bring redemption. So as God don't talk, say, go die, so not to achieve what you achieve. Make the man. When the man can't come, you're supposed to now hear, go say, ah, God, the man, what I go do? God will come tell you. But at that point, you know, one year again, at that first one, wait here, you go still die. The man never still die till today. <laughs> so sometime, we, we will be pastor, if we don't get maturity and experience, with the jump past boundary where God give us. And then they cause all those trouble. And some people, they just be pure fake people. Mm. You don't really, really educate. In fact, the worst way you don't say that deep Also, word. sometimes, as we get, like you talk, as we get some good uh, religious leaders, we get the bad ones. Yeah. We get some good politicians and we get the bad ones too. Yeah. But the house of God accommodates all and sundry. Yeah. You know, so sometimes these so-called bad politicians go day in the house of God and then they seek favor from the hands of God and from the leaders, you know, the prophets of God. You just say a day right make... Um, the religious leaders either condone bad politicians or to make people know say this is the way they do a bad thing so we cannot support this family cannot support you or maybe just they neutral you hey, see for the kind of work what would they do our job expect us to make with they are political mm. our political means say make we no use the platform where we get to push any party even if you be a member of a party that platform where you they use now religious platform no be platform for your party so when you day on that platform, your job now to push anything will go move that organization and the entire country forward. So whether in, for my church now, I get people for different parties. The day we will call them, every month we will begin calling them from July, you will see almost 13 different political parties inside one church. And everybody happy, say, ah, so pastor, give all of us time, make we talk. Because that's been my, my job. So my own now to preach truth. Whether you be one party or no party, I tell you the truth. Now you go carry the truth, interpret them by yourself. But say me, I go use my pulpit, or religions that go use their pulpit to the support one person. No, 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 no. You support what is right, and you oppose what is wrong. Whosoever it's involved, it doesn't really matter. Now, that's now our job. But if person come meet me now one-on-one, -on -one, because now I get member from my church mm -hmm. with the different party. Apart from the one where they do, they will come meet me for office. Ah, pastor, I won't go vie for this one. I won't make you pray for me. Which I go tell them, and say, you know, say no, we go vote for you. Because, you see, pastor need to know the limit of their power. Me, I feel pray. Every pastor feel pray. But no pastor for this world get power to answer prayer. Our power, he end with the prayer. Who go answer the prayer now, God? Me, I don't know you reach God. So I go, I say, look, I go pray for you. Make God give you wisdom, make he help you. But at the end of the day, if you are not the person, you don't go enter. So make you nothing say, this man don't get anointing. I know they deceive myself because I don't go promise with you, I know if he deliver. But as you they go there, make up your mind, say you won't go be an example. And you don't, you don't need political platform or a partisan position to be able to make a difference. Because whether you get the position or you don't get them, the one way you get now, the position of being alive, the position of being a citizen, the position of having enough brain to think and analyze, use that position well without any political platform. Because everybody, when they wait for political platform or position to begin to do something, they know they do something. Because if you don't, they do something before political platform come, you don't go need that political platform. To enjoy more of this, our Ogonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.